under the warm embrace of the golden sun. The beautiful farmyard unfolded its vibrant tapestry of life. Towering trees gracefully swayed in the gentle breeze, their leaves casting spotted shadows. On the lush green grass below, a radiance of colors burst forth from the blooming flowers that decorated the landscape, creating a kaleidoscope of nature's finest hues. A tranquil pond, its surface reflecting the blue sky above, added a touch of serenity to the beautiful scene. Within this enchanting setting, a mother duck nestled comfortably on her nest beneath the expansive canopy of a majestic tree. The tree's branches provided a protective umbrella, shielding her from the sun's rays. The mother duck had an air of anticipation. Her eyes gleamed with warmth and excitement. The air was filled with the sweet symphony of a bird song enhancing the sense of tranquility that surrounded the farmyard. As the day unfolded, the mother duck patiently awaited the arrival of her precious ducklings, her soft quacks echoing through the air. The anticipation grew, and the atmosphere was alive with the promise of new life. Each passing moment seemed to hold the whisper of impending joy. As the mother duck excitedly waited for her ducklings to hatch, one by one, the eggs wiggled and jiggled until they made a peep, peep sound. And guess what? Tiny, fluffy ducklings popped out. They blinked their big, curious eyes and looked all around, like little explorers in a big, new world. The mother duck was so happy. She couldn't help but quack. Welcome to the farm, my little ones. But, oh... There was still one big egg in the nest, just waiting to join the fun. The mother duck waited with a twinkle in her eye. Finally, after a little more waiting, the big egg cracked open, and out came the last duckling. He was different from his fluffy, yellow siblings. He was big and gray. Everyone looked at him with wide eyes. And the mother duck looked surprised and said, Well, hello there, my big, gray duckling. You're a strange looking one. The very next day, the sun was shining brightly, and mother duck decided it was time for her fluffy ducklings to have a splashy adventure. She happily waddled over to the shimmering pond, and with a joyful quack, quack, she jumped right in creating a big splash. All the little ducklings couldn't resist the fun and eagerly followed their mother, splishing and splashing in the cool water. Even the big gray duckling, with his feathers a different shade, joined the excitement, paddling happily alongside his brothers and sisters. The pond became a playground of joy, with happy quacks and fluffy feathers fluttering about. But when it was time to return to the farmyard, the other animals noticed that the big gray duckling was a little different. They whispered to each other. He's so big and not like the others. These words made the big gray duckling feel a bit sad and lonely. As days passed, the big gray duckling grew more and more unhappy because he didn't look like his siblings. So one day, feeling very sad, he decided to leave the farmyard and find a place where he could be happy and be accepted by others. He traveled far away, over the hills, and through the fields through snow and sleet. He met other birds and animals, but they all looked at him strangely because he was so different. When winter came, it was cold and hard for the big gray duckling. He found a little house where he stayed until the weather got warmer. When spring arrived, the big gray duckling reluctantly returned to the pond at the farmyard. There, he discovered three beautiful birds gliding across the water with poise and grace. They were swans. 
the most beautiful birds he had ever seen. Feeling very brave, the big gray duckling decided to swim over to the swans. They might not like me because I'm so different, he thought. But I have to try. With a determined heart, he waddled into the water and paddled towards the swans. To his surprise, the swans greeted him with friendly beaks and joyful quacks. As the big gray duckling looked into the water, he saw his reflection and could hardly believe his eyes. No longer was he a big, awkward gray duckling. He had transformed into a beautiful, graceful swan. He was one of them. Just then, a group of children arrived at the pond and spotted the remarkable sight. Look, a new gray swan has arrived, and he's the most beautiful of all. They cheered with delight. The big gray swan beamed with happiness and pride. Finally, he had found a place where he truly belonged, surrounded by friends who appreciated him just as he was. From that day forward, he glided through the pond with joy, his heart filled with warmth, knowing that it's okay to be different because that's what makes each of us special. The farmyard became a place of acceptance and friendship, where all the animals, no matter their size or color, played together in harmony. And so, the farmyard echoed with the cheerful quacks and laughter of newfound friendships, celebrating the beauty of being unique.